Welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me, people. And we have a few things we're going to speak about today. Um, three players. We're going to speak about Martin Davis. We're going to speak about Devon Speedy Williams. And we're also going to speak about Daniel Johnson. So, guys, you know that Reggae Boys will be taking on Guadalupe um, on Friday, which is tomorrow. I'll be doing a the preview for the game, much preview for the game, a little bit later this evening on a stream. So look out for that one. And the, the stream is already set up so you guys can go over there and smash the like button that, on, on it already. But do not forget to smash the like button on this video in specific. Now, you guys know us, we have to speak about the midfield and the best midfield pairing and the best midfield trio going forward. But please, guys, remember to smash the like button. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for the continued support. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are doing a wonderful job. And I'll continuously give you guys consistent update on all the reggae boy players now let's get into the meat of the matter now as you guys know um the reggae boys midfield got a massive boost when devon speedy williams came on the pitch uh, even daniel johnson game stepped up another level um i was just curious to see how would those two guys play together in a double pivot no we know for a fact that in the midfield we have a, a mobility issue we have a mobility issue. We are finding it difficult to, um, how should I put it now, difficult to move around the pitch, move around the midfield. Now, when we saw um, Daniel Johnson, even in the earlier stage of the game, Daniel Johnson was playing some, he was playing some leather, was knocking some, he was actually playing proper, proper football. Now, the main issue is that um, Hector, Hector seems to be the main issue and, and the consistent issue in the midfield. Uh, in regards, I'm, I'm not saying Hector is playing poorly, but we're talking about mobility in the midfield. He's actually too slow um, to move around the pitch. Now, that is where Speedy Williams would come in action. How would Speedy Williams come in action now? But in the same sense, guys, remember that I'm not saying that the, um, Daniel Johnson and Michael Hector Perrin was not was not good. I'm just saying that if we could actually open our eyes to more options, what would it be? And what direction would be would we looking at it as? So the next way we'd be looking at it is what happened on the day when we saw Speedy Williams came on to the pitch. Now, what I saw was a bit more tempo in the midfield. I saw movement. I saw a player playing the ball around, trying to get something done, trying to get himself involved into the game. It could be um the first, it could be that, that first adrenaline rush. Um, we could put that as he came on to the pitch with a bit of adrenaline rush. He came on to the pitch with um, a specific instruction based on how the game was panned out. And that could be one of the reasons why he looked that good. But remember now, we're not talking about a player who is bad. He's a good player. He's a very good player. No, he could actually be the one sitting on the bench and say, this is where we're lacking. This is what I need to do when I find myself on the pitch. And you could... Definitely saw um, when he came onto the pitch that even Daniel Johnson game a lift. Even Daniel Johnson game got, got a lift when um, Speedy came onto the pitch. Now, we're not talking about bad players, right? Because in, in the world of football, you, you won't say you have bad players. But compatibility is a factor. What if it's a case in which Daniel Johnson and Speedy Williams, these guys are just a bit more compatible playing together these guys can actually ring out more um out of each other in regards to their talent their talent remember no no so you can have a very very good player playing at a particular position and then you have an average player playing another position but when you check it out because these players are playing closer together one get the best out of the other that's what you call compatibility like the next one raise the other one's level and whilst raising, raising other ones' level, his level um, steps up and not just the same. And we could we could have definitely saw that when Speedy Williams came onto the pitch, Daniel Johnson got more assertive. He, he got on the ball a bit more. He was moving in and out, in, in and out in the attacking phase and also in the defensive phase. He started to you started to see more passes between each other. Daniel Johnson and Speedy Williams, um, I think, possibly create more passes amongst each other than what Daniel Johnson had with Hector. No. What Speedy have is the ability to chat back really, really quickly and pick up the midfield runners. These are some of the aspects that he offers. Those quick passes, those quick interline, inter interchangeable passes, quick one, two, here and there, move, collect, receive, turn, and then, uh, and then sprint away. He has that. That is something that, that, that Devon Williams have. 
so speed it might be it might be a, a, a sensible option going forward a sensible option going forward to play alongside daniel johnson in, as a double pivot now speedy does offer um, uh, um something going forward because he's a box to box midfielder he does offer um a, a, a few a few more things going forward than what Hector offers Hector more likely offers the defensive work rate but at this point in time if you're slow you won't be able to track back to provide that excellent amount of defensive work rate that people would want that the team would want so but not going about um I'm, I'm 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 killing Hector, but in the same sense we're talking about compatibility and we have to be real we have to be real we you know that i play football and i know there's a certain particular player that i play really really well with him because he knows what i'm going to do before i even do it i know it can, it can it, i know that chemistry can play a part of it but in the same sense he's a very very good player and i know his talent so and i trust and believe in his talent and i play extremely better i have played with better players than him but i play a lot better with him because maybe it's just compatibility so this could be the case in which we're trying to it's something that we're looking at looking into the people no option is a bad option, you know, until you try it, you know. No option is a bad option until you try it. So, um, people, what do you guys think about the, 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 the pairing of Dan, Devon Speedy Williams and Daniel Johnson? Giving Daniel Johnson more like that workman role, in which I know he can do, give Speedy Williams the workman role as well. But what these two players gives us is mobility, which is very, very important in the middle of the park. Mobility. Players who can take the ball, who can go and receive the ball of the defenders. Players who can go and help, help out the midfield, the attacking midfielder. Players who can go and help out the wingers. Players who can go and help out the fullbacks. Players who can who have the speed and quickness enough to slot in those um those half spaces when the, the right back make, makes a, makes a daunting run forward. Let when the left back makes a daunting run forward. We need the defensive midfielders who are quick enough to go and slot in those positions and cover the center of the pick. We, have, we want central defensive midfielders who are quick enough to pick up the midfield runners and track the midfield runners even straight until, until they reach inside of the 18-yard box. Track those runners. So this is just a concept that I'm bringing to you guys. So what do you guys think about it? Do you guys think that it's an option? Do you guys believe that it's an option? What do you guys feel? Tell me, put it in the comment section. Tell me your thoughts. What are your thoughts? Just put it in the comment section, people. Now, the last thing I want to speak about is Martin Davis. Guys, please... I want you guys to know that Martin Davis will be playing another um, Europa League game today. He'll be playing another Europa League game today. Um, well, Europa Conference League. I know most of you guys know about the, the Europa Conference League. Most of you guys must have known about the Europa Conference League. Let me let me bring it up. So I want you guys to go turn on your TV, your, your television today, people. Turn on your television today, people, and uh, let people know that Martin Davis will be playing. His, this is actually his second game in the Europa Conference League to qualify for the group stage. Um, it's um, Gazar United FC takes on UE Saint Julia, or Saint Julia. So it's a good, it's a, it's a good look, people. Remember, these guys are playing in Europe. One of the, our young players playing in Europe, we have to look out for these guys. We have to represent these guys well because they are represent us, representing us um, on the big on the big big stage. So we have to look out for these guys, people. So guys, please remember turn on your television, tune in, and look at how our young talents are performing right across the globe, and just give him some support, people, because these guys need support. I'm telling you guys, I'm consistently talking about Norman Campbell, Martin Davis, Kaim Paris. I'm talking about these players on a consistent basis because I want to see the best from, from these players. I want to see these young players um, push forward and see the greatness coming from these young players because these guys are the, are the, two, the 2026 future. 2026? These guys are who we should, who are going to be banking upon. So if we don't ensure that um, we don't look at these talents from now, I think we might find ourselves falling short on our own youth development. So people, massive respect. Thank you very much for, for tuning in. This has been honestly a good one. Remember people, tell me what you think about this, this, the double pivot pairing of um, um, Speed, Daniel, um, Devon Williams, Devon Speedy Williams and daniel johnson um let's see how that one goes let's see how that one pulls through we're, we're putting in players who are actually more mobile who can create 
I believe can create more danger going into the um the Guadalupe game. I was speaking a bit more on it today, more in depth on this on the live stream. Hopefully, you guys, I'm um, here to join me on that. Guys, please don't forget to smash the like button on this video and tune in um later on the live stream. Make sure you subscribe if you have never subscribed to the channel before. This has been honestly a good one. Military Guna TV people, make sure you guys have a good day. <laughs> a good day, people. We all know it is Jamaica, but Ensure you guys have a good day, people. Enjoy yourself. Military Guna TV. I am out.